Alrighty guys, we got some pretty insane news and in newer cars. We got some Ice Jade stuff, we've got Dogmatica stuff, and I'm really curious to see how this goes. But let's go ahead and start the video uh, with the brand new uh, Dogmatica Ritual Monster, which is insane. If you guys are excited about new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, drop a like on this video, but let's get started. So um, this is called the Alba Zoa of Dragma or White Zoa of Dogmatica. So it's a brand new boss level 12 light spellcaster ritual effect monster, which I think is the highest level ritual monster we've ever seen in the game, which is crazy. So it's a new boss, 4,000, 4,000. Uh, you can only ritual summon this card with Dogmatica. Cal calamity uh cannot be uh ritual summoned except with a dogmatica cards effect you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn so the first part is dogmatica monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated fusion synchro exceeds and link monsters effects which i mean if this card should count itself right <laughs> so at that point it's immune to basically everything from the extra deck right and then the second part is during your main phase you can have your opponent apply one of these effects. They send one card from their hand to the graveyard or extract to the graveyard for every two cards in their extra deck. What? That is insane. Imagine this like turn one. That's broken. The, the second part of the effect is they re return all fusion synchronic seas and link monsters they control to the extra deck. So, um, it, I think it says you can have your opponent apply one of these effects. Does that mean they get to choose or you get to choose? Because sending one card from the hand to the graveyard for every two cards in their extra deck, if they have 15 cards, um, obviously, if it's uh, for every two cards in their extra deck, I mean, that means they would have to, do you round up? Do you round down? I'm not sure exactly. This card is like unbelievably broken though. It, it basically gets rid of their entire hand as soon as the, like, the duel starts. They have 15. It's just during your main phase. There's no like requirements, right? Like I, I might not, dude, this card is incredibly broken. I mean, the second effect is only once per turn, but does that even matter? So you, as soon as you bust this out, you just have the opponent um, send one card from their hand or their extra deck to the graveyard for every two cards in their extra deck. So at that point, they lose half of their extra deck. Now, I'm actually wondering if there's some way to make it so your opponent cannot select the cards from their extra deck, or maybe like extra deck cards can't be sent to the graveyard or something like that. That would be crazy, but just basically you cut their extra deck in half uh, as soon as it starts. Again, I'm not sure if they would round up or down because it says every two cards. I'm sure, I mean, even if you're getting rid of seven cards, right? Seven cards, obviously from their entire hand, they lose, right? <laughs> so they're gonna more than likely select their extra deck. But if there's a way to make it so they cannot select it, th this card, this card's effect is still already pretty good. You combo this potentially with uh, number 89 and then they already have um, a bunch of cards already in their graveyard and you start getting 89 to start banishing more cards. They're just gonna have no extra deck, which in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh pretty much means you this card is pretty brokenly insane uh, for a boss monster. Pretty good. I mean, it's immune to everything and they lose half of their extra. <laughs> this is just, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh has really gotten too far with some of these effects. Anyways, the Dogmatica, uh, uh, Dogmatica tricks, uh, continuous spell that says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you get to add a Dogmatica ritual or one ritual spell from your uh, deck to your hand. And then if your opponent controls a monster, you get to add one Dogmatica card from your deck to your hand. <laughs> one for two that's good second part because it needs to be op uh let's see what does it do once per turn if you control dogmatic or ritual monster you can look at either extra deck and summon one monster from it from the uh to the graveyard so i mean you you activate this effect maybe first or second i mean at the end of the day they're losing more than half their extra deck instantly uh before you even go into other combos i, I just think this is just way too insane uh next up though we got the brand new ice jade cards let's see if this is going to make this deck see any play i haven't really seen them in a while at all so maybe they'll be coming back with this is another like boss monster right it's a level 10 the other one's definitely boss uh ice jade um agarine uh, uh gimir is how it's pronounced it might be like norse anyways water aqua synchro effect level 10 3000 attack 1500 defense points and it requires one water tuner plus one plus non-tuner monsters it says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn the first effect is as a quick effect you can make face up monsters you control unable to be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effects for the rest of this turn. Then, if this effect was activated in response to the activation of an opponent's card or effect, you can banish all cards with that name on their field and in their graveyard. Okay, so pretty solid effect. Second part is, if a card is banished by an opponent's effect, while well, this card is in your graveyard, you could special summon this card. Okay, cool, cool. And then we got a new uh, support spell card called the Great Ice Jade Sword Appearance, which is a normal spell card that says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. The first part is, if there is a monster on your opponent's field and or in their graveyard, and 
and you control a water monster, you can take one Ice Shade monster from your deck and either send it to the graveyard or special summon it. Okay. Um, the second part is if a face-up Ice Shade monster or monsters you control leaves the field by your opponent, except by being destroyed and except during the damage step, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one card your opponent controls and banish it. Okay. So it's not even a continuous, but still like not a bad extra little like bonus effect, uh, being able to just like, you know, banish and get something else out of it. Okay, cool. But being able to just spot someone can be good. Um, so that could be good. Um, it's just as long as uh, there's a monster in your opponent's field or in their graveyard. So that means if they hand trap, you, you might be able to follow up with this. So this is a, a great little like uh, extra combo extender and or just a great card uh, to have in general. But uh, dude, this, this this other ritual card, dude, that boss monster is insane. I think this is the most like crazy boss ritual monster that we've seen in the entire game. Anyways. Drop a like on it if you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're brand new here so you don't miss out on more cards uh, in the future, subscribe, turn that bell if you're new here, and uh, you'll definitely see more. Anyways, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!